In this video, I'm going to talk about a new tool that I'm currently working on called Smart Ease. And it is finished for the most part. I mean, everything's working just fine. However, I do need to create some marketing things like the tutorial, create a website, the write-up, all that jazz. And I mean, it, it takes time to release a tool even after it's finished. So it's not out yet as a tool, like as an individual tool. However, I am including this tool into our Smart Tools bundle. So if you have purchased Smart Tools bundle from us in the past and you get this one, uh, this Smart Ease tool today for free. So just go to ukrami.com, re-log in and re-download Smart Tools bundle, and then you'll see this tool uh, in there. So again, thank you for your purchase. Thank you for supporting us. We appreciate you guys. We wouldn't be able to do what we do here if it wasn't for you. So thank you. So let's talk about Smart Ease. What does it do? Well, it's a keyframe velocity tool. And uh, it's something that, you know, if I find myself frustrated, I just create a tool. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you the before and after. So for example, let's say I have all these linear keyframes, right? And what if I wanted to adjust easing to where it's 100 on the left and 50 influence on the right So How do I do that quickly? Naturally, you would just select them, right? And do control shift K to see this keyframe velocity. And by the way, this looks very similar to that. So it's identical, but has more, more stuff to it. So then I would say, okay, on this side, um, I'm going to adjust the influence to 100. On the right side, we're going to take it to 50. And then naturally you would say, you know, if I press okay, then it should do the same thing for all of them, right? So I'll press okay. And then boom, it only does it to like one. Then you're like, all right, well, maybe I just didn't select it right. So then you select the other ones and you do control shift K, you adjust 100. 50 and then you do okay again boom you're like what the heck it only does it to one so then you just find yourself doing this for every single one of them you're like oh this is annoying like i shouldn't be doing this right and uh that's what i was doing and i got tired of it <laughs> so let me kind of finish this up just to show you how painful this is so let's take this one to 50 and one more let's do control shift k 100 and then 50. okay so you saw how many clicks it took me to get something like this accomplished. And uh, yeah, so I realized, hey, maybe I should create a tool. And that's what this tool does. So watch this. Let me do the same thing. Let me undo all of this. Let me select all of them and do the same thing. We're going to do 100 on this side and 50 influence on the right side. So again, left side, right side, the same concept here. So influence, we're going to take it to 100. On the, left, on the right side, we're going to take it up to 50. And then we're just going to run it. Boom, just like that, it will do all of them. So now I can double check just to be sure. As you can see, 150, and yeah, it, it works like a charm. So yeah, that's why I create this tool, just for that alone, but it has more. So let me do this. Uh, let me undo real quick. So we also have like the top bar here. So the first one is to run it, to run the script, but then we have like the keyframe presets that you normally would use, like easy ease out is that one. So you would select your keys and boom, it will give you easy ease out. This is just something I added that I found useful. Then easy ease will give you easy ease. And then easy ease in will give you easy ease in. So those are, you know, just will save you from using a keyboard shortcut. Okay. And then we also have like the pull in data. So basically you can pull in from any keyframe. So for example, let's say I want to adjust this easing, right? Maybe like 45 and 35, right? Well, I can select this key and I can pull it in like this for both in and out. So I can just push this, boom. And just like that, 45, 35. So you can select any key and pull in the data in here. And then you can apply the same thing where you just pulled in to this key and you can just apply, boom, or to all the other ones like that, boom. And then I can double check, right? Let's see, 45, 35. So that pull in is super helpful. Okay, so that does, the pull-in does it for all of them. You know, it pulls in in and out. So if you want to reset it, this one resets it all to zero. So that's helpful. And then um, then we have these presets. And uh, as you can see, kind of each preset gives you a different option here. So for example, this one right here, just linear keyframe, that one is uh, just a 33. Essentially, it's like easy ease in, easy ease out. So it just has different presets. I, I gave you something basic to work with here, but you can alter this preset. So you can click on this and maybe set this one to like 45 and 45, right? And then you just hit set, boom, just like that. That number one is now 45, 45. Maybe you go to this one and maybe set it to something like that and set it, then go to that one, set it to maybe zero, or let's do something like this. Anyway, it's just easy to, to set those presets and it, it creates a file in your system. So we'll always remember it. So now you can go to one and you can see 44, 45, 45. So 
these presets will, will be very helpful. I mean, I, I only have five, but I think five is enough. I don't think you need more than five. So at any point you can apply it and just, you know, like kind of switch back and forth to whatever you want. And then we have these options in here. You can take this information, let's say, and put it on the other side like this, or, uh, you know, if you type like 33 here and you send it to the other side, it will copy it. Then you can reverse maybe, yeah, 50 and 33, you can reverse it. So it's common sense, very basic stuff, but I, I find it very useful. Then we have the pull in for in and out. So for example, maybe this one right here, let's do like a 50 and 100. So if I do, if I select this key and if I pull in both, it will show me 50 and 100, right? But if I, let me reset this, but if I do in only, boom, it's only gonna pull in 50 and not 100. And then I can, you know, reverse it. And I can reset just these keys. I can reset just those. I can pull in for out. So now it's 100. So again, I try to keep it consistent with all the other tools. So these icons you guys will recognize, I'm sure. And for the most part, yeah, that, that's how easy it is to use it. But let me show you an example how useful this is. Let me delete this and let me show you this animation. So I have like a linear animation, very boring, right? Then something like this. And let me show you how quickly I can uh, animate this using, you know, I just adjust basic easing, right? I can I select this key, that key, this key. So this is for when it arrives. I'm gonna set this easing for those to 100%. So I'm gonna reset everything. Let's go to 100%. And then I just apply, boom. And then for these, for the in, I'm going to set it to on these on the right side, right? I'm gonna set this, let me reset it to 50. So I can say 50 and then boom, apply. And just like that, I have something very interesting in no time. And yeah, it saved me so much time. Now, let me show you this pull in data. So for example, what if you have something similar here and you want to pull in the same easing? You can do the same way. You can select this key, pull in the data for in and out, select that key, because this animation is identical to that, Just it's just linear. And then you just apply that easing. You can do the same thing here, pull it in, apply it to this side. Uh, make sure you select it, there you go. You can select this key, pull it in, and that. I mean, you can see how useful this could be, just uh, so you don't have to like constantly typing things in, apply, okay, let's do one more so we have pull in this, apply it there, and last one. So let's pull this one in and apply it. And just like that, boom, we have first animation, second animation, and uh, it didn't take us very long. So I'm all about saving time uh, because I don't know about you, but I like to go home and see my kids and these tools will, uh, will definitely help you. So I hope you'll find this one useful. Again, I wanna thank you for supporting us. You guys are awesome. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this tool. If you uh, wanna add any features or yeah, any feedback is, is gold for me. You guys are always, always helpful. And if you're not, a part of our mentoring group. You should definitely join. It's a free Facebook mentoring group. Go to ukramedia.com community. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.